Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, go watch my last YouTube video where I did a Q&A with you guys. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. A lot of you have asked me to do like a hair care routine and like what I do to my hair to get it to the style. So I decided to just make a video and show you all today. Um, so yeah, let's get into the routine. <laughs> Okay, so for today's tutorial, you're gonna need a few things. First, have shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and deep conditioner of your choice. I'll show you the ones that I use and recommend, but it really doesn't matter. Also, I would really recommend having some sort of oil. I use jojoba oil, but I know castor oil works just as well. And finally, have like those big rollers and pins to hold them in place, and some sort of drying method. I use an overhead dryer. I know there's like inflatable ones, or if anything, you can just use a handheld dryer. This is my clean hair straight out of the shower. So now I'm gonna put in my deep conditioner and get in my overhead dryer. Okay, so now my hair is saturated with moisture. Normally I would tie it, put on a plastic cap and get in the overhead dryer, but since I don't have a plastic cap today, I'm just gonna go ahead and get in with my hair like this. So normally I would just go back right into the shower and wash out the deep conditioner, but I'm really hungry right now. So I put my hair in a band method just so the moisture doesn't fall out until I can wash it. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this leave-in conditioner and then put the rollers in and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Here are the rollers in place. So after um, brushing out the curls, I'm gonna use two rollers and do this method called twisting. I know it looks silly, but I use two curlers to anchor my hair and then I twist all the hair around it in one direction. And basically what that does is it makes the style last longer when we braid it tomorrow. Okay, so this is my hair the next day after sleeping with the twist in at night. Um, now I would just braid it into two Dutch braids. Um, if you have to like go out or something, then you can just leave your hair in this style and then do it at night. But since I have nowhere to go today, I'm just gonna braid it. Okay, so for this part, I'm going to apply oil to the ends of my hair just to seal in moisture and make it look softer. And then I'm going to go ahead and braid. And now we're just going to brush through and do the same thing to the other side. And um, I would say keep the braids in for at least like five to eight hours. This is my hair after, I think, six hours of being in the braids. This is the hairstyle that you guys see in most of my YouTube videos and the ones that you guys have been asking about. So here it is. Um, I can do a 360 just so you can like... So I just wanted to talk about how to avoid heat damage when doing this hairstyle. One is deep conditioning every week. Like the more moisture your hair has, the less susceptible it is to like the heat of the dryer or anything else you're using. Um, two is actually like the literal dryer. Since I use the overhead dryer, the heat is diffused instead of being direct into the hair. It's kind of the same thing as like when you deep condition and go in the overhead dryer for 15 minutes, just make it an hour. So it's prevented my hair from damaging. I've been doing this style for like a year and a half on and off. I do want to caution against using this hairstyle if you like hate the texture of your hair or anything like that. My 3C, 4C girls, like your hair is beautiful and there's tons of amazing videos out there on how to like style it and make sure it stays healthy. The reason that I started using this hairstyle is just sometimes I know like shrinkage can be super frustrating and you just wanna have long hair. So like it's a great tool for that. And other times it's just like, I manipulate my hair too much when it's just natural. So this kind of prevents my hair from being like restyled or washed every three to four days. Another reason is, I mean, sometimes I just don't want to box braid my hair or like do another protective hairstyle that takes me hours. And this is just like a two hour solution and it lasts me a week. So it just kind of buys me time. So I don't really see this hairstyle as like a permanent solution or a permanent like method to be using, but it's definitely something you can use temporarily. So that's it for today's video. Um, let me know if this style works for you or if you guys need any other tips in terms of like how to deal with your natural hair. I would be totally happy to make more videos like this. As always, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below with video suggestions and I'll see you guys really soon.